Hello Suzanne, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm actually going to be talking about what you can expect if you're going out to eat in Germany. Now of course I'm just speaking about my experiences so far, but a very common question that I get second to are Germans rude is about the customer service in Germany. So I wanted to talk about that and let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, what are you guys waiting for? Hit subscribe down below. I post new videos every single week. I talk about my life here in Germany, my experiences, and I love chatting with you guys. So hit that subscribe down below and let's jump right into it. All right, so one of the first things that you're gonna notice if you go out to a restaurant here is usually you're gonna walk in and you are expected to seat yourself. So there's not gonna be a hostess waiting for you at the front asking you how many people. You may just see somebody at the back of the room that works there and you'll make hand signals like two people, three, whatever it may be. Um, so they'll just be like, okay, what do you want me to do about it? And then you're just expected to walk up to your table just pick a table and that is definitely very different than the US and I know Canada as well if you walk into a restaurant over there you usually have to wait in line wait for somebody to come and greet you and then actually walk you to your table so that's something that if you walk in and expect to be seated don't because it's very very unlikely unless it's a super fancy restaurant that has reservations and such uh, but usually it's just up to you to pick whatever table you want another thing that you can expect is if you go into a cafe for instance or a restaurant that doesn't have waiters you can be expected to clean up your table so this is like German etiquette and it's something that I've gotten into the habit of doing all the time um, so for instance once you're done eating you will be expected to pick up your plates your cups whatever you used and actually take them either to the front counter or usually they will have a little stand sort of like at Ikea where once you're done eating you're expected to put your tray back it's the exact same concept here so yeah that's something that I had to get used to when I first moved here I thought it was super weird that nobody was coming to the table to clean up even if there wasn't a server but now if I go to any restaurant like this even back home I'm always like cleaning up and trying to be as considerate as possible because I am always at cafes so I'm always like trying to figure out where to put the plates back and everything all right this is a big one I get this question quite a bit and it's about tipping in Germany now in the US in North America usually you will tip on top of your bill about 10 to 50 percent depending on how the service was but you are always expected to leave at least a 10 percent tip over there whereas here it's completely different now i believe that the wages here are much different for servers so they do get um, a full wage rather than below minimum wage like they do in North America uh, which is why typically you have to tip them so that they can make at least minimum wage and have a decent living and earn most of their money through tips back home whereas here um, I believe that the rules are much different so at the very least all servers will be paid minimum wage and anything that you leave them above your bill is sort of a bonus as a general rule you are expected to round up so for instance if your bill is i don't know let's say 1840 then you're expected to go to the next uh, dollar so for instance you would just leave 19 dollars so yeah don't worry about this 15 percent rule it doesn't apply here obviously if you have exceptional service and you want to be a bit more generous then definitely go ahead and tip a lot more if you want to but it is not expected um, so yeah this is great i think because it, you just save so much money on tips. I know if I went to eat back home in Toronto, I would always have to, you know, think about how much the tip is going to be. And sometimes it could be up to $10 or more, just depending on what you order. So it does get quite pricey. And here, it's not that awkward to tip. It's just a very simple process, which I really like. 
And then answering the question that I get a lot is about the customer service. So because people here don't rely on tips to make their wage and the majority of their living, the service here is pretty bad and quite slow. Uh, but actually, I don't mind it because I actually find it super, super annoying in the States when I go out to eat and there's always a server coming as I'm eating my food and I'm like super awkward and they're like, oh, how's your meal and blah, blah, blah. And they're just like extra fake about it. Whereas here, if you want the server, you can just call them over, but don't expect them to be checking in on you every 10 minutes. Um, and also because of this, sometimes service is a bit slower and getting your bill can be a bit slower, but that's just because again, they're not constantly watching your every single move. Um, so you just have to get used to it. You can just call them right over. And of course, um, they will be nice to you for the most part. It's just a different approach. And also the service can be a little bit slower because in Europe, people take their time when they go out to eat. They don't just go in and get kicked out within half an hour. So people like to sit down, enjoy the atmosphere, take it all in. So the servers here are more mindful of that. So they're not trying to pressure you to get out of the restaurant so that they can move on to the next table and earn their tips that way, like they do in the States. So yeah, to answer your question, Service is not necessarily bad, it's just different compared to home and you just have to, you know, get used to it. But generally, I've had really good experiences here eating out. It's not a big deal. Um, you just, you know, have to realize that you're in a totally different country and the rules are different here. But that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. I just wanted to talk about some things that you can expect when you're going out to grab some food. If you guys have anything else that you want to share down below in terms of going out etiquette and what is acceptable. If you want to clear some things up about the tipping, let me know as well from what I've been told and what I've been doing. Hopefully this is right. I've just been rounding up to the next dollar. Uh, but if I got anything wrong, please let me know. And again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed so far. You guys are amazing. All of you who interact in the comments, it's so much fun. I have the best time chatting with you. And yeah, I hope that you guys all have an awesome day and I will talk to you all in my next one. Tschüss!